So, if you remember last time, <clears throat> we collected all those Chocola fruits, and then Popple and Rookie run in here. So, let's have a look. What idiots drink? So duh. Ah. Uh, what do sodas call their dads? Pop. Ah. Uh, a hippie's favourite soda? Granola Cola. I don't get it. My name is Bubbles. I built Chateau de Chocolat and I found a Chocola Cola Inc. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing and the chortling and the ha ha ha. Professor Frank. This is where you've been. <laughs> yes, Monsieurs. Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary of sodas, the Chocola Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you this Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. <laughs> ha he ha! I have worked on Chocola Reserve for 1,000 years. Telling it joke after joke so it would mature and then mature some more and then yet more. Until at last the greatest soda of all would be completed with the fears and the tastiness. Because this is a soda of such high calibre and repute, rude guests meet a fate such as this. Un. De. Toi. Th that's no ordinary soda, see? We can't stand up to such a beverage. Go The Great Chocola Reserve is a thing to savour, with the flavour and the tang and the yum in the belly. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, it is wonderful, so wonderful. The great soda shines. However, that was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have bred over these 1,000 years. Now I insist you fully experience the texture, taste and aroma of the Chocola Reserve. Bon appetit! Did you mean, bone up the teeth? Well, here we are. Yes, we fight the thing. <laughs> I always thought this was kind of funny, how you literally fight the drink but yeah you want to be using hammer attacks to break this shield as soon as you possibly can and I didn't break it, of course I didn't trust me if you use, oh there it goes, it's, bro it's broken if you use uh, a jump attack on it I think it does like what, what like one damage I think also why was Mario so low on health just then, that was weird Alright, well, I suppose we might as well quickly do this. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why Mario was so low on health. It's been like, I don't know, maybe a week or so. Something like that, since I did the last episode, I believe. I don't know. These are usually uh, recorded on the same day they're uploaded. Sometimes not, because it's very rare that I... Um, it's very rare that I record one, more than one episode at once. But, you know... Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. Mainly because I don't want to get interrupted when I'm recording. <laughs> that's, also, that's probably why I've been doing longer videos rather than two at once. That makes a lot of sense actually, now that I think about it. That is probably why I do videos that are longer than normal now. Rather than... Um, rather than do more than, more than one at once. Because uh, the last one was like 40 minutes. But yeah, this thing will just like make like slug things <laughs> and sometimes shoot at you. Which isn't exactly very nice, you know. But hey. Some people just aren't very nice. But yeah. You just want to use your hammer attacks and you'll be fine. As long as you don't die, you know, because if you die then you're not okay. But still Yeah, eventually he shrinks. And then he just twirls back. Who hears horse horses? And he makes it laugh with his horrendous puns. And yes, it can go back to being big again, which is really annoying. And no, in its small form, you can't jump on it. It will still do like one damage. Oh, I'm out of Rose attacks. Well, that sucks. No. No, no, okay, well, I guess we're using nuts then. That's not what I intended at all. But I guess that's what we're doing. I pressed. I just got a swing. I pressed a B and it didn't do shit. Oh, whatever. Ouch. Ouch.
All right, here, take this. this is, I think this might be the first time I've had to use syrups in one, in one of these fights. Because I don't feel comfortable doing regular attacks on this guy. Oh, will you piss off, mate? Who hears horse horses? You said the same joke again. You can't just make the same joke again. Oh, look, we got poisoned. Yes, he can poison you if he touches you. We'll probably be fine, though. I would hope. I do have a refreshing herb for that. Also, something interesting is the poison in this game. There's so many different colours of poison, which is weird. Did drawers wear drawers? <laughs> Hilarious. Well, this isn't good now, is it? Here, take this. <laughs> mm. Alright, we're fine. Don't worry about it, we're fine. Everything's great, you know. I'm doing fabulously. <laughs> Definitely. Yep, never done this fight better. There we go, he's finally dead. That seems to be like a common theme of this playthrough, is that I never do well. <laughs> I just keep doing terribly on like every single thing. Well, since we run out of BP, why don't we up our BP a little bit? Give me the plus four. Yeah, there we go. Finally, I actually got what I wanted. It's not very, it's not often I get what I want in life, apparently, recently. No! B but the jokes, the puns, the humour I've saved up over the last 1,000 years! Au revoir! You just got rid of your life's work. What are you doing, Marlon? Also, how did that not fall over? Oh, now it does, yeah, as soon as Mario falls into it. Yeah, that totally makes sense. So, yes. Luigi is on his own again. And uh, there's some, like, fights and stuff here, but you don't really want to get into any combat because, you know, you're on your own. Fighting on your own isn't fun, let me tell you. That wasn't fair. That wasn't fair at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed dying, shock guy, because, you know, you're just going to go ahead and ambush me like that, then you're going to get murdered. That's just how it works. Yeah. No, you don't. I literally walked into that shit. Are you kidding me? If you think you've won because it's two on one, you are incredibly uh, wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word, I can't think of any. You are incredibly mistaken, there we go. <laughs> Late jokes, best jokes. <laughs> That's what happens when he tries to call for help but doesn't get any. He's like, oh, screw you then. Yeah, I'm still getting all my buttons wrong. Great job. I almost walked straight into him too. There's a few nice items here though. Plus I screwed that up. I wasn't expecting them both to be coin blocks. That's not fair. Hmm, what could possibly be in there? Oh dear, it's leaving. <laughs> and then he rides on it. Yahoo! <laughs> See, that's the fastest possible way to travel. Kapow. Oh dear, it's been obliterated. Hmm, well look at this, a very Mario-esque fellow and a Lou were uh, some other guy. For God's sake, just remember my name, goddammit. What? What is it? Mario's got his filter to bring which a colour reserve is sloshing around his insides. Gross. Th that's terrible, and sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's your colour reserve? Shh, I have no idea. <laughs> just bring the joke. Goo, goo hoo gra. Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the list of your colour reserve? B. Blaf. Oh. There's the belly black worm. Why does it kind of look like Popple? Oh look, more witchcraft. That's too pink. Yeah. Oh, success! A truly repugnant yet truly tremendous success! Queen Bean has returned! Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time! Well done, Lady Lima! 
No, your highness, it is not I, but rather the Mario Bros, whom you must thank. Hmm, so Cacletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Bean Star. It was my fault. Nonsense! But why would Cacletta steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Sounds like Jesse from Team Rocket. The Bean Star is the protector of this land, and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Bean Star was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of a great beauty is required to wake the Beanstar from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. I like how it says the voice of a beauty. So basically the Beanstar is... What's the word? Superficial? I don't know. Or is it shallow? I don't remember the words. Like, oh, you're not beautiful enough to talk to me. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. Wow, what a convenience. So the reason Cacletta stole Princess Peach's voice, that was, I love that little illustration of her. Aha, she must plan to awaken the beans down and fulfil all her desires. Peach just looks like she's swearing in the background. And there's no mistaking her one true desire to rule the world. Yeah, fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hard hand than she. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing. Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley. So yes, Prince Peasley is back. Again. Hello? Is there a Prince Peasley here? There he is. <laughs> Doing me. Cheers to Red and Greeny! Thank you for your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> Twing. It's the best. Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? <laughs> thanks to you. Absolutely! <laughs> Luigi. Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University, our local research institution. Cacletta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University. Yes, of course, Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the Bean Star. I intend to march into Woohoo University right this instant. May we meet again? Doing! Off he goes. A shiny Prince Peasley appeared. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are to be, a are to be allowed passage on the road to Woohoo University. I like how whenever she jumps, everyone just like flies into the air. I also thought that was funny even when I was younger. Is the part is open now? Yes, it is. There's a bunch of hidden blocks in here, right? If I remember correctly, there were supposed to be. What should this not be the case? And it's just like, oh, sorry, um, they're all non-existent, just like the last time. So yeah, there's a bunch of like hedges back here. I don't think there's anything around here, is there? Not that I know of anyway. I don't think there's anything in this area, because this area is just used for, like a cutscene later or something. So there's nothing there. There's probably like chocola beans or chuck beans or whatever they're called hidden in these, right? No, really. Nothing, you hid nothing right between the eyes. I would have thought you might have done that, but no, apparently not. Okay, seriously, I remember the, I kind of remember the books being here. But like, really? There's no blocks? I could have sworn there were. The room on the right is called the Chest of Knowledge. It's full of useful tips for travellers. That's where we keep a store of books behind for adventurers, or by adventurers, who once visited our castle. Um, I have to begin making repairs to the castle court gardens. They're right above us. Okay, okay. Also, you can go back and talk to the Queen as well, I think. Does she have anything interesting to say or does she just repeat herself? Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are to be allowed passage. Okay, yeah, she says the same thing. If you plan to head for Woohoo University, proceed southeast from the castle. Okay, well, <clears throat> I know where to go, but I'm not going there yet because the town is now opened up. As you can see, the... You know, the music isn't all depressing anymore. And we can also go this way, where I tried to go earlier. Into here. So I can get this. There we go. Also, <laughs> something I thought was interesting. Oh! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Welcome to the pipe house! I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Wanna ask about pipes? No. See you later! <laughs> Don't come if you want to ask. <laughs> I was just like, see you later! <laughs> I'm, a, I'm gonna be gone, see you around. <laughs> I also thought that was kind of funny, he's just, he just says, see you later. Massive letters. Yeah, there's like a secret passage in here. I actually remember what's in here. 
because like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, so... No, go in there. And here, and in here. Ah! This is where the non-existent block was hiding the whole time. This must be why I thought there was one on the other side. When there wasn't. Yeah, thanks for that game. Great! <laughs> well... Let's, um... Let's just go, you know? Let, let's just leave the area, you know? Nothing, all right, well, there's nothing to see here now. However, there's more to see around town. Apparently, we can't jump that unless we high jump. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Come over here. Oh, look, a block. Bunch of coins, all right, fine. What about over here? There's got to be something over here, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would there be? Oh yes, yes, you are perfect. How about you're perfect? How about a picture? Right, oh yeah, let's do it. I'll snap a quick picture of you. Want a picture taken? No. Oh. Okay. Well <laughs> pick one picture is a hundred coins. No. What? No? You don't want your picture taken? Not at all? Oh, the life of an artist is so hard sometimes. Okay, how about for fifty coins? Fifty coins, okay? Yes. Yeah. You can just do that. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine. I'll pay less. Oh, yes, yes, I'll take it. Okay, stand on there. Come on now. Stand still. Don't go pressing up, down, left, or right on the control pad to do a silly pose. I want that one. <laughs> All right. And you? Oh yes, yes, you are perfect. How about a picture? Right, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'll have a great picture of you. Well, want a picture taken? Okay, one picture is a hundred coins. A hundred coins. No. What? No? You don't want your picture taken? Not at all. Oh, the life for an artist is so hard sometimes. Okay, how about for... Fifty coins. Fifty coins, okay. Yeah, I figured he would probably be, like, maybe sort of insane. Alright, I'm taking it. Step on there. It would have been better if it was on the other side. Like, this would have been great if it was, like, Luigi kind of looking at Mario, like, look at him! How does he do this shit? I want to know! I can't. Every time I try, I just spit all the water out. It's not fair! Alright, so anyway. Yeah, you can now come over to the other side of town. But I'm not going to be there yet, because there's a few other things I want to check out. No, I don't want to spin. I want to come in here. Mushroom! Aha, yes, they've got more stuff in here. I'm going to rob their entire house. <laughs> Who been? Who been again? Anything in the middle? No, of course not. Why would there be? That wouldn't make any sense. I'm uh, perhaps this town's greatest intellect. At present, it is the ancient soybean civilization that has captured my focus and attention. Would you like to hear my my report? Fine. The ancient soybean civilization. Blah 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 blah. blah shut up. Perhaps the bean stones indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. So yes, you have to go and find the bean stones. I doubt I'll be able to find them all, but, you know, we can try. Well, there's one. You got a beanstone. Say, have you heard? Oh, it's big news. Prince Peasley is supposedly risking his life on a dangerous secret mission. I've got to say, I'd be devastated if I knew what happened to him. I just adore that guy. Maybe I could help him on his next secret mission. No. Ah, yes, there's one over here. Somewhere. Right there, to be precise. Give me that. Treasure! Alright, what's in here? Anything? Of course not. A lot of books decided to move into my old box, so I'm airing them all out. It's cheap fun f fumigation. I thought I said fungigation. <laughs> Expose your books to sunlight and wind, not keep the books away. What the fuck is this? Excuse me, why do you have demonic faces in your house? Ugh. Like, literally, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, what is that? What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Alright. Can we find more bean stones? That would be rather nice. Yeah, you just have to kind of wander around until Mario eventually is like, Oh, there's something here. 
Oh wait, hang on. I saw that. There's something in this area. Where is it? There it is. Of course, you know. You a bit you a bit to the side, so you know you can't take them all. There's the other bean stone. Okay. You. This town is back to normal, but now there's a ruckus up at the castle. What next? I shall hope nothing else terrible has happened. Oh, you have no idea. Should we tell him? Nah. Alright, well. Anything over here somewhere? No? Really? Nothing? There's nothing here. Are you serious? The thing about this kingdom is that there are all kinds of beans buried deep down in the soil. Yeah, if you see a strange hollow in the ground, there's almost always something under there. Of course, digging down to get stuff is such a pain that nobody ever bothers to do it. Well, that would explain why there are so many un uncollected beans, you know. Because there's nothing secret back there. No bean stones there either. Alright, fair enough. Do we really have all of the bean stones on this side of town already? Alright, fine, we'll check the other side of town. Anything around here anywhere? Just check every single possible area. Because I don't want to miss any. Because knowing me, I probably would. Probably miss something very obvious. Aha! See, I told you. There's one. Beanstone! How many is that now? Is that three, I believe? Probably not. It might be four. I oh, know. I don't remember how many I've collected. Alright, nothing up here. Aha! There's one here somewhere. Hello? Could you please give me the beanstone? It's around here somewhere. That's all we know. Where is it? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to do this constantly until I eventually find it. Because I'm stubborn. Hello, bean star. Or bean stone, whatever. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work at all. Yeah, there's other quests to do here first, but I'm going to get the bean stones first because. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah, if there's. Like, there's really ten. There's really ten of those things. Like, are you sure? Because I've looked like almo almost everywhere in town and I've only found about five of them, if that. Get out of my way, damn it. Like, where are they all? I don't even know how many I have. I can always check my equipment. No, wait, that's wrong. Uh, rose, nope. It's items, there we are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five of them. So, there's five more somewhere. <laughs> somewhere around town. It's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably. Find them eventually, I swear to god. Alright, well, obviously, this is the most riveting possible uh, gameplay and commentary. What does this guy have to say? The most important thing to do when traveling is save. That's right, save. Yes, of course. How could I possibly forget such a thing? Alright, well, I probably forgot to save at least once. Where the hell is this beanstone thing? Like, where is it? <laughs> I don't think it could be over here. At least I don't think it can be. Well, there's no harm in checking now, is there? Because you never know. Sneaky, sneaky game developers might hide something. I wonder if it's possible to take Mario's picture when he's shrunken like this. Probably not. I'm not even going to try. Well, this is interesting. Wait, what's over here? Nothing, really? There's nothing here. Are you serious? I thought you would have put something there. Apparently not. Okay, so for some reason the bean stones seem to, I don't know, disappear into the face of the earth or something. Or off the face of the earth, I suppose, would be the correct terminology. Do you think they're up there? <laughs> Surely not. Hello, bean star stone thing, actually. Where... Seriously, where is it? <laughs> There's five more. And I haven't found some of them. Who knows? Seriously, I'm not going to like look up a guide in the middle of a video. I refuse to do that. Seriously, where, where could they possibly be? Not um, not over there, obviously. This is weird. Like, I always I know the bean star, bean stones are hard to find, but like, my God, 
Alright, well... There's got to be something up here, surely. No, I mean, it wouldn't really make sense for anything to be here, mind you, but you never know. Oh, wait a second. I saw that. That's weird. I was here last time, wasn't I? Um, I could have sworn I uh, I walked over this spot and the game was like, nope, nothing there. Don't tell me I have to be extremely specific about where I'm jumping or something. There's no way there's nothing on top of these. Like, really? It's not possible. Alright, well, now we have six of them, I believe. But really? There's one here, too. This... This thing didn't pop up when I came here. Yeah, there we go, that's seven. Alright. Check every last possible thing. Alright, well. Apparently Mario is very touchy when it comes to detecting things underground. Aren't you, Mario? Yahoo! <laughs> There's nothing. Like, those, those things, those little alerts I got, they weren't there last time I went there. So why are they there now? <laughs> Top 10 questions science still can't answer. Well, I believe that means I have seven now, right? I think so. So there should be about three more. I don't know if there's any left in this area. That's the only problem. I could be searching around here for nothing because there might not be anything here anymore. Now what about behind the shop? No, you can't see Mario's like exclamation mark. How about we just do this? Nope, nothing there. It's probably incredibly specific as well. I reckon that's probably the case. Alright, well I can't seem to find anything here. So we're gonna go into the other side of town and be very specific there too. Anything here? No, apparently not. Yeah, look at me, yeah. Aha! See, I'm serious! It's, that's the strat. Alright, just to make sure, how many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have eight. Okay, there's only two more left. Ha! Didn't know I could count, did you? But, where are they? Hello. I'm sure there's probably somebody who's like played this game like a thousand times and done this specific quest about the same amount of times and they're like, hey idiot, it's that way. <laughs> but hey, listen, I know, right? <laughs> I know I'm an idiot. I'm sorry I didn't memorize every beanstone's exact location. You know. Where is it? Hello? Beanstone 9 or Beanstone 9 and... 10, where are you? I keep saying Bean Star, which is weird because I don't know why. Probably because we were just talking about said Bean Star, like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, probably about now. Because I've been wandering around town for quite the absurd amount of time looking for these goddamn stones. They're quite literally gems, but okay. I, mean, I guess they're te still technically stones because they're gem stones. I don't know. Uh, anything else? Any stones around here? Does anybody want to give me a beanstone? Still no, apparently. I'm going to wander in there for no reason. Alright, seriously? <laughs> Where are the last two? Listen, if I, if I edited my videos, I would definitely edit this out. But I don't, so tough. You've got to see me rambling, I suppose. Alright, well, this is... Um, this is actually slightly annoying. Where is it? Okay, no, it's not slightly annoying, it's very annoying, alright? I'll, I'll be honest. Hello, Bean Star. Or Bean Star, let's see. Um, does anybody want to tell me where they are? You, move out. Get out of the way, damn. There's one. There's one here. No. <laughs> let's see. No, hit. Hit him! It's around this area. Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Of course not. Seriously? 
Luigi, are you kidding me? Hello? Beanstone? Anywhere? It was literally... There we go. Alright, now there's only one left. Surely it can't take us around about 10 billion years to find it. Probably. The worst part is I don't know what side of town it's on. It could be anywhere. Nothing? Alright, sure. You want to be annoying? Aha! There. We found it. Where is it? There it is. Alright then. And there we go. Last beanstone. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. Oh! Oh, would that be... Oh! You have found all ten of the soybean sparkling beanstones. With this evidence, I can at last announce my hypothesis. Perhaps. Perhaps I should reward you for your endeavours. I believe that you will accept this reward I promised you. A bro's rock. Okay. What does that do? Is that any good? Do I need that? Uh, bro's rock. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It highly raises your pow and bro's points. That's actually very useful. Alright. Uh, it's not this guy. Is it him? No. It's him then. Yo, 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 bros, you two traveling dudes. I'm like hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Can't you help a bean out? Sure. Seriously, bro. My little pet bean looks up and took off on me. Poor little doodlets. You can catch all five of me. I'll totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, skull. Beanlets are all tiny and green and stuff. Plus, they're all round. You can't miss them, seriously. The thing is, they ain't, you know, super motivated. So, no, though, there's little dudes all left town. Come on, bros. I know you guys can take care of business. Get your super on. So, yeah, he asks you to find his beanlets. And uh, this one probably shouldn't take as long. I could have sworn when I was young I had a glitch where, like, not all of the beanlets appeared. It, it, it probably was because I didn't find one of them. I mean, I wasn't looking far enough. There's one. But, like, I don't know. I could have sworn that, I, that that glitch happened. Like, you know when something happens when you were a kid and you could have sworn it was real, but, like, every, but, like nobody believes you because it just sounds too like strange to be true like you could say you saw something weird or something happened on a game and nobody believes you because you're the only person it's ever happened to trust me when i was a kid people not believing me was basically my thing it was so aggravating does anybody else ever have that when you were a kid every time you said anything nobody listened nobody believed you ever it was so annoying <laughs> you felt like one of those like people who claim they saw an alien or a ufo and nobody ever believes them literally like that so, how many of those do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got them all already. Well, that was quick. I thought we'd only found four so far. But yeah, when I was a kid, nobody believed me. If I said I saw something, nobody would have told me otherwise. Nobody would believe me, ever. It was like, oh, uh, I saw this. No, you didn't. I saw this. Haha, <laughs> stop lying. Dickheads. Yeah, my poor little bean little buddies, you got them all back for me. Yeah, many thanks, bros. I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved these doodles are safe. Anyway, right on, bros. Here's the what I promised you. I'm going to get a golden mushroom. So now, that's all of the um, the quests that we can do here. However, there's an item shop here. And we can buy one-up mushrooms. I'll buy one. Uh, I think I have plenty of items, so I don't think I need to buy anything. But uh, something else that we can get is uh, you'll notice that they both have work pants and work jeans. <laughs> I love how they just push each other out of the way. Uh, they, we've got all those. But, you know, there's other equipment we can buy as well in the other shop that we were digging in front of earlier. It's over here. As you can see, this is a fashion house frequented by celebrities of all kinds, classy all the way. But I offer prices you'd never expect from a high-class boutique. So, uh, what do you want to do? So, let's see what we've got. Uh, cheap and durable, but not cool. Trendy pants popular in Hoo Hoo Village. Uh, I don't see the point in the blue jeans. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Okay, oops, HP and defense. That's not something that bad. Um, that's defense. That says defense up. Yeah, the defense actually goes down. 
Um, okay, defense goes way up to 60 with those. That's actually really cool as well. I think we'll get these for Mario. And uh, I think we'll get these for Luigi. Because they seem like they're worth our time. Alright. So, I think th I think we put them both on, right? The window shopping is free. I mean, she's not wrong. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a guy or a girl. I can't exactly tell. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that person identifies as both. I don't know. Either way, whoever it is, they're not wrong. So, <laughs> window shopping is technically free when you think about it. So, yeah, um... We can now go over to Woohoo University. <laughs> I believe it's over here somewhere. Alright, well, I guess I'm not jumping on him. Oh, hey, I was right. You can pass. Oh, so I've been instructed to say, hmph. <laughs> All three of them say the same thing. Oh, look, some uh, power beanies. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, power beanie. Take that. Yeah, we can now one shot these bastards. Get out of here. Except Luigi can't because he's not strong enough, apparently. Luigi is not heavy enough to kill them with one jump. Well, as Mario apparently is. Although then again, you know, Mario does have higher power than Luigi. Luigi is the defensive one in this game. And look, some Koopa Troopers, except they're not that just true peas, which is hilarious. All right, and yeah, you want to jump on those because uh, hammer attacks do one damage. There's also like another type of attack later on that only does one damage. I don't know why I try to not mention things that happen later in the game. Considering this game came out like 17 years ago, <laughs> it wouldn't really be a spoiler, but whatever. I mean, I guess that's kind of what you get when you watch, uh, if you watch my videos, there's probably going to be like spoilers in there somewhere. There probably will be. Take that, go away. Yeah, they can heal. They can also revive like any uh, troopies you killed. Also, I totally forgot to do something in the castle town. So I think I'm going to quickly uh, head back there. Because there's something I forgot to do, and honestly, I don't know how I possibly forgot this, because it's one of the cooler things in the game, so... I'm going to have to go back to Castletown, because I'm an idiot and I forgot the most obvious thing. Ahead of us is a Lucky P, which is a Lucky 2, but, you know, don't worry about Lucky 2 up there. He's not that big of a deal. He's kind of annoying, but he's not that bad. Right, anyway, yeah, how could I completely forget about this? There's a cafe over here that's now open. And nobody is in here except this guy. Hey, this is the famed Starbeans Cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints? Compliments? Now you already know about our special Starbee system, right? Yes. Right, tell them, show me the beans you collected and you can... You can brew beans. Okay, I don't have enough for that. Do I have enough for anything? Of course not. Hold up, you need more beans. What are you going to do? I bet I don't have enough beans for any of these things, do I? No, of course not. Why would I? How about a teehee blend? Nope, I don't have any of them. What's your order? Who, Lumbian? Okay, I have enough for that. You know what? I'm going to get some... Uh... I'm going to get my paper real quick. One Who, Lumbian, ready to go. You got Who, Lumbian. Well, a power outage? Oh man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Luigi's Mansion Ghost. Looks like the aroma of your new drink is drawn out all the ghosts in the place. Oh, I was wondering who it could be. If it isn't the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor Egad. Ta 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 ta. Welcome to my Starbeans Cafe! Seeing you two, this is a most unexpected chance meeting! Hey, you guys know the owner? That blending machine is our owner's latest invention. Have you tried the drinks made by our, my latest invention, the wondrous bean bean machine? Its stimulating flavour puts a spicy tingling in your cheeks. Yes, quite a tingling indeed. Mmm, the rich aromatic fragrance of that drink. I sent it as a drink that even I haven't partaken. May I have a drink? His face. Hmm, a delicately bitter flavour, but one that makes me crave more. This stuff gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension. 
foreshadowing to me. Thanks for that sampling, this little something I invented in my spare time, maybe it'll aid you. You got the greed wallet. Well, I hope you will continue to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to have friends partake in the fine flavours produced by my bean bean machine. Yeah, Professor Egad is in this game. So I'm quickly going to write down the uh, the drinks because I want to make sure I brew them all and see all the uh, see all the things. Woohoo! Who who? There's chuckle. Teehee. All right. Next menu. Uh, the who lumbian, which I've already had. The chuckachino. <laughs> and the teehee espresso. Hmm. It's funny because I didn't really get these jokes when I was younger, but now I do because you know back then I didn't understand what coffee really was. Uh, Chocchino, do I have enough for that? Of course I don't. Why would I? What's your order? Teehee espresso? Nope. All right. Well, I don't have enough beans for any more stuff. So yeah, all of the um, drinks have like their own. Is that? Oh, I'm so sad. The um, they all have their own Professor E. Gad like cutscene. But originally there were going to be other characters, like I believe Captain Falcon was in the game, uh, Wario, maybe I think Star Fox as well, and a few others. They're not particularly, it, like they're not in the game anymore, obviously. But it, it's really a shame, honestly, because it would have been cool. Like as cool as it is to see Professor E. Guard, it would have been awesome to see Wario. <laughs> like I wonder what Wario would have said. Probably like, Ah, Wario, steal your drink or something. Because you, know you know what Wario is like. Probably would have been something along those lines as well. Oh, I was hoping I could kill him with the counter attack. Never mind. Right, but yeah. The uh, the other characters just eventually didn't show up. And it was just Egard for all of them. But yeah, it would have been cool to see uh, other characters. Wasn't Kirby one of them? I don't know. I don't remember. All I remember is Wario. I don't remember the other ones who would have been in. Oh, he's leaving. <laughs> he comes back again. I love how you just kick him away. It's like, oi, what are you doing? Yeah, woo beans are easy to get. You can just farm them off killing the enemies around Bean Bean, uh, the Bean Bean Kingdom, because pretty much all of them drop them, don't they? I mean, we've got quite a few of them from all the uh, the beanies on Hoo Hoo Mountain, so... Yeah, it gives you a reason to fight all these idiots, you know, other than just a small part of XP that you might want. There's Luigi's level up. That was late. Luigi, what are you doing lagging behind? Let's up our BP. Give me a plus four like Mario got. There we go. Equal treatment. Okay, so we're nearly at the uh, Bean Bean place. And then like, I'm pretty sure there's a few hidden uh, hidden beans around here. You saw me collect one from the Sprout earlier. Also, the counter attack that these guys do, you can actually hurt each other with them. Oh, look at that. I actually got a crit. And he healed himself. I'm not sure if these guys can bring them back or if it's the other version of these later on in the game. I don't remember. Oh, never mind. Uh, they're both level 15. Apparently it was Mario who was lagging behind. Alright, sure Mario, whatever you say. Let's up our stash. There we go, plus four again. Very good, alright. So, there's one. See, I told you, I knew it. I knew there were a few beans hidden around here. That's the one we already got. Aren't there like some under these as well? Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Right, there we go. Kill him. Yeah. Maybe now I can show you. Yep. <laughs> cool. I like that. The fact that you can just, you know, kill them with their own friends. But yeah, is this, there's got to be something up here, right? Like, surely. Right, Mario, let's have a look. Is there anything up here? Really? Nothing at all? Great. It must be just for decoration then. Fine. You know, the Bean Bean Kingdom wants to be stingy, then fine, be stingy. Alright, anything over here that I might want? There's got to be something under this flower. There's nothing under the flower, never mind. Really? There's nothing? How is there nothing? How is there nothing in any of these areas? Like, there's nothing at all. I'm confused. How is that possible? Woohoo University, that way. Well, I'm going to disobey you and come this way. Super syrup and a bunch of coins. Okay, apparently we can't walk on that because the current is too strong or something. 
I don't know, something like that. And then we've got a bunch more coins. Those bricks there look more like uh, chuckle beans or who beans <coughs> that we've been collecting. Is there anything hidden here? Anything at all? Nope, of course not. Why would there be? Alright then, well, you can't get in there because why would you? And uh, there's nothing else here, I don't think. Alright, and look at this place. Creepy, isn't it? Looks all run down. There's actually, um. Here's something funny. Um. And just before I end the episode off, I want to mention the way this place looks on the map. Hang on a second. It's the place that looks like two barns stacked on top of each other. There's a there's a level in Super Mario 3D World that has a like red house in the back that kind of looks like Woohoo University. And I know it's not Woohoo University, but I like to think it is. Because, you know, we already know the Mushroom Kingdom and the Bean Bean Kingdom aren't that far... Like, it's not that far, you know, in between them. Kind of like how Johto and Kanto were, like, both right next to each other in Pokemon. It's kind of like that. But, yeah, I could have sworn it was Woohoo University, even though it's obviously not. I think it's like a barn or something. But, come on, it just looks like it. Uh, if, for those of you who don't know what level I'm talking about, I don't know what, level, what the level's called, but it's one of the Boo levels. It's one of the, like, ghosty house levels. Anyway... Um, so we're gonna we're gonna end it here because it's been 46 minutes. Most of this was probably just me rambling and running around the bloody town. But hey, next time we'll enter the spooky house that definitely is not haunted.